Neanderthals shared an overlapping existence with early humans, leading to genetic intermingling evidenced by their DNA remnants in our genetic makeup. The potential for intimate interactions between humans and Neanderthals implies a capacity for shared social experiences, including humor. Laughter among modern humans spans a broad spectrum, from the simple joy of animal antics to the niche pleasures of technical jokes. Previously underestimated, Neanderthal cognitive abilities are now regarded as on par with those of early modern humans. Studies on the evolution of laughter suggest that Neanderthals, too, might have been privy to the joys of a good chuckle. The innate nature of laughter, observed in human infants from birth, supports the idea that Neanderthals could also experience spontaneous laughter. Laughter's primary function, to strengthen social bonds, was likely as relevant for the group dynamics as it is for contemporary societies. Great apes, our closest living relatives, exhibit laughter, hinting at its deep evolutionary roots possibly shared with Neanderthals. Scientists argue that they had the same anatomical structures necessary for producing laughter, such as a larynx and a hyoid bone. The vocal equipment of Neanderthals, remarkably similar to that of modern humans, would have enabled them to produce laughter sounds. Debate among researchers about the pitch of their laughter suggests subtle differences from modern human vocalizations. The complexity of laughter involves both physical capability and cognitive understanding, both of which they appear to have possessed. Recent research indicates that their brain was capable of controlling the intricate movements required for speech and, by extension, laughter. The discovery of complex motor actions within their brains supports the likelihood of their ability to articulate sounds like laughter. Epigenetic studies provide insights into their brain function, hinting at their potential for language and humor. The consensus among scientists is shifting towards the belief that they could have engaged in laughter, reflecting a sophisticated social behavior. Their social structure, characterized by small family groups, would have fostered the use of laughter for social cohesion. Understanding the laughter of Neanderthals sheds light on the emotional lives of these ancient relatives, revealing them to be more like us than previously thought. The concept of humor and laughter among them challenges long-held views of their cultural and emotional complexity. Their laughter would have played a role in non-verbal communication, enhancing group interaction and bonding. The universality of laughter in human experience suggests its presence in Neanderthal society, bridging a link across species and time. Laughter as a pre-verbal form of communication likely served a key role in Neanderthal communities, similar to its function among modern humans. The sound of their laughter remains a mystery, but it likely served as a signal of playfulness and camaraderie. The capacity for humor and laughter points to an emotional depth that parallels that of early modern humans. Equipped with the physical and cognitive means for laughter, they could have shared humorous moments just as we do. The shared propensity for laughter between Neanderthals and modern humans speaks to a common evolutionary heritage. Exploring the concept of their laughter opens up new avenues for understanding prehistoric social interaction. The presence of laughter in their culture would signify a universal language of emotion and connection. Neanderthal group living likely involved moments of joy and laughter, essential for the well-being of their communities. Analyzing their laughter contributes to a greater appreciation of the subtleties in early human social networks. The ability to laugh might have been a defining feature of their society, reflecting its intricacies and nuances. Laughter among Neanderthals would challenge stereotypes of these ancient beings as humorless and stoic. The cultural significance of laughter in Neanderthal society remains speculative but is grounded in increasing scientific evidence. Unraveling the mysteries of their laughter helps demystify the daily experiences of these ancient individuals. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more such videos.